Today's topic, how do you manifest money without giving up? This is one of the biggest problems when it comes to manifesting money and so many of the amazing deliberate creators who decide to work with me in Skype coaching sessions always tell me the same thing. Sebastian, how do I get started and how do I make sure that I don't give up before the money is coming into my physical experience? And that's exactly what I want to discuss with you in this episode. Because when it comes to money, most people give up way too early. And yes, I get it. Even though from an energetic point of view, manifesting money is the same as manifesting a relationship. It's the same as manifesting a ship. It's the same as manifesting an alpaca, in case you want to manifest an alpaca. It's the same as everything. It's all energy. But in our mind, we often make money this unreachable thing, object of desire that we can't get. Because when you, for example, think about manifesting a partner, I'm pretty sure that you've already had relationships in the past, or you already met people who were interested in you. And as a result of that, even though these relationships might not have been that amazing or that healthy, you still know that it's possible for you to get a relationship. Maybe you still doubt that you can get the relationship that you truly want, but you think, hey, I could get a relationship somehow. But when it comes to money, there's often so much trauma and so many limiting beliefs that you got from your parents and then maybe you've never had any money, your parents never had any money, their parents never had any money and this is then dragged from one generation to the next generation and that's why manifesting money is often harder for people than manifesting all the other things. So yes, I totally understand it because think about it, when your parents told you all your life as a child money doesn't grow on trees, oh, we don't have enough money, and you saw your parents fight about money, then your subconscious mind thinks that this is the reality, and then you live this reality. And that's why most people give up way too fast when it comes to manifesting money. And one of the biggest advantages that I had from the get-go when I started on this manifestation journey is that I'm German, and Germans have one quality. We are very consistent very boring and we are very conscientious and that's my biggest advantage here and that's why I also combine spirituality with science with being a little bit German because when I started manifesting money I promised myself I just won't give up and when I think back to the time when I started with my first affirmation when I wrote down my first affirmation since this day there's not been one day when I didn't meditate and when I didn't speak my affirmations not one single day And that's why I want you right now to make a decision. If you want to manifest more money, make this decision with me. Make a decision that is stronger than your old program and say right now, I will not give up. And then promise yourself and promise me right now to not give up. You can even write me an email. You can shoot an email to Sebastian at affirmationtomanifestation.com and just write down, I will not give up. I never give up. So maybe that helps you to really not give up and make this decision right now that no matter what, no matter how long it takes for you, no matter how much trauma you have to overcome, no matter how many limiting beliefs you have to replace with positive, empowering, supportive beliefs, no matter how long it takes for you to manifest the first hundred dollars, the first thousand dollars, the first ten thousand dollars, the first hundred thousand dollars, you will not give up. I mean, I, for example, started manifesting money from a point where I had just a couple of hundred dollars in my bank account. I had less than one thousand dollars. I had nothing, basically. By Western standards, you can say that I was broke. And then suddenly the money started rolling in while I was reading my affirmations, while I was meditating, while I was raising my vibration. And then things slowly started to happen. But do you think on the first day when I started to manifest money that I thought to myself, oh yeah, you know, $100,000 in the bank account would be great. (laughs) Of course not. I thought about, oh, if I could ever have more than $1,000, that would be great. And nowadays I have way more than 100,000. And I still remember the first time I looked at my bank account and it was more than $100,000, I started crying. 
I was like, I can't, I can't believe it. And in the same moment I said, no, 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 don't say I can't believe it. I believe it. I am worth it. I can manifest money. I am a wealth magnet. And that's how I want you to think. And that's the decision that I want you to make. And that's also why if you decide to invest in my money manifestation magnet program, which is a six week guided meditation program that reprograms your subconscious mind for more money, I'm pretty sure that you will love the first meditation, which is all about changing your mind about money, which then helps you to, like the title already reveals, change your mind about money and to then start to believe in yourself and in your ability to manifest money. And then do what's often the hardest for my Skype coaching clients. And by the way, if you're interested in working with me in a Skype coaching session, then you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash Skype, or you can click on the second link in the description. So what's the hardest thing to do for most of my Skype coaching clients who work with me on manifesting money? That's to appreciate the money that they already have, or even more difficult, that they once had. When I think back to the time when I was completely broke and I had less than $1,000 in my bank account, it was so hard for me to appreciate the money I already had. Because I was at a stage in my life, in my late 20s, almost 30, and I had nothing to show for. While my friends were building their portfolios, while my friends were buying their first houses, getting married, and reaching the next level in their career, I was still struggling in my business. I was struggling, I was going nowhere. And that feels not so good to say it in a more polite way. It really feels like beep. So yes, if you're in this position right now, it's hard to appreciate the money that you already have. But if you manage to do it, then magic will happen. And the same is true when you appreciate money that you've had once upon a time in a far, far away galaxy, but now you no longer have it. To give you an example, I've coached people in Skype coaching sessions who've had fortunes and because of that trauma, they lost everything. And from this point of view, it's so hard to believe in yourself again, in your ability to manifest money, because you not only doubt your ability to manifest money, but you also doubt your ability to keep the money that you will then manifest. So no matter in which position you are right now, either you've never had a lot of money or you've had a lot of money in the past, but you no longer have it. If you try to appreciate every single penny, every single dollar, every single euro or whatever currency you're using, this can have a huge effect on your vibration, on your ability to become a vibrational match to money. And it can also help you to let go of the fear that you will not be able to manifest money. And in the process, you will also step by step, the more you appreciate the money that you have, the more you will feel wealthy and abundant. And that's why I also created one meditation, one guided meditation in the Money Manifestation Magnet program that is about appreciation of your financial abundance. And if you want to find out more about my Money Manifestation Magnet program that I specifically designed for deliberate creators who want to manifest more money, then you can click on the first link in the description or go directly to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash money. And then as a little exercise, take a 10 minute virtual shopping break every day. I want you to go to an online store and no, you shouldn't buy anything. I don't want you to buy something that's way too expensive right now and then you fall into a deep depression and you quit listening to me and you say, man, law of attraction, I don't want anymore. That's not what I want you to do. Instead, I want you to look at your bank account. No matter if you have $3,000 in your bank account, $300 or just $30, it does not matter. Just look at an online shop and search for items that you could potentially buy, but then don't buy them right now. Just think about what items you can afford. Just get into the feeling that you could buy them. And the more items you look at, the more you will realize that, hey, I can actually buy a few things. I'm not as poor as I think I am. And this exercise alone, if you do that for 10 minutes, this can help you to reprogram your mind for more wealth. And in case you love to go shopping because you want to fill a void that is based on trauma, then it also helps you to save a lot of money because in my experience from a lot of coaching clients who have coached who've been in this situation, suddenly they no longer felt the need to buy something because the feeling of being able to afford it, that's already enough to lead to the emotion that you would have had 
if you bought it. That's something that I experienced firsthand. I still remember when I was finally able to buy a sports car that I always dreamed of. And I think I already shared this on another episode, but anyway, I want to share it again here. Maybe you didn't listen to all my episodes. So I was always fascinated with the Audi R8, which is a supercar or sports car, however you want to call it. And I always thought to myself, ooh, when I ever have money, ooh, when I'm rich, ooh, I will buy it. And then when I was finally able to buy it, I had enough money in the bank account. I could just basically walk up to a dealership and say, boom, here, I give it to you in cash. Suddenly I looked at it and I said to myself, for some reason, I no longer want it. It doesn't excite me anymore because now I can buy it. What's often happening with us when it comes to material things is that when we don't have the money to buy it, then we want it because we think this makes us feel better. But when you create the emotion right now and you feel amazing, suddenly you no longer want it. But what you want is gratitude. Be grateful for your bills and payments because it means that you are living a life in luxury. And now you might be saying, Sebastian, I'm not living a life in luxury. What are you talking about? I don't have a swimming pool. I don't have a five bedroom mansion, even though I'm just one person. Yes, yes, I know. But think about all these people in the world who don't have bills to pay because they don't have homes, because they don't have running water, because they don't have electricity. Now I want you to be grateful for every drop of water that comes out of your tap, for every drop of water that comes out of your shower, for every meal that you can buy. Gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. Always remember that. And if you ever decide to work with me in a Skype coaching session, I will repeat this to you over and over and over again until you are sick and tired of it. But it's very important for your manifestation success. And then use the power of repetition to feel a little bit wealthier every day. It can be one or two affirmations. It can be a 10-minute guided meditation. For example, one of the six 10-minute guided meditations that you get if you invest in my Money Manifestation Magnet program. And sometimes you might simply want to repeat, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am abundant, I am a money magnet, I love money, throughout the day whenever you have a 5-minute break. Just doing that can already make a big difference if you commit to it. But I know that you are committed because you promised yourself and you promised me to not give up. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget, to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.